So let's give a bit of an update on the migrant caravan because it's been a few days and well shit's changed. And yes, obviously the mainstream narrative is still kind of that these are refugees and they're peaceful and everything. And we're going to definitely destroy that in about five seconds flat. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you need to know, obviously, is the Pentagon has deployed 5,200 active duty troops to the US-Mexico border to halt the migrant caravan. Now, they are only going to be going there in a sort of a logistics way. Um, so they're not going to be going there to shoot the invaders. I'm not saying I oppose or, or agree with that. Just saying. Putting it out there. Still think 4chan with drones is probably the best way to solve the problem. But regardless, I'm joking YouTube. Jeez, calm down. But yeah, obviously at the end of the day, just one week from the midterm elections, the Pentagon will deploy at least 5,200 active duty troops to the US-Mexico border in an effort to prevent members of a migrant caravan from illegally entering the country, the Department of Defense announced on Monday. Around 2,100 National Guard troops were already fanned out across the border uh, and an order of the President Donald Trump this year. In recent weeks, the President has been warning repeatedly about the dangers posed by the caravan of mostly Central American migrants. So they're mostly Central American now. I thought there weren't any others in the caravan. I thought they were all. Hmm, interesting. Um, I, I thought Trump was a, a liar when he turned around and said that there was more than just Central American troops. Or Central American migrants. Interesting, isn't it? Now this only changed. Which stands at about 3,500 people after 1,700 of them fled asylum uh, filed asylum applications in Mexico or accepted assistance to return to their home countries. Administration officials also said last week they were considering a plan to send up to 1,000 active duty troops to the border, but that deployment, dubbed Operation Faithful Patriot, will now surpass 5,200, said General J Terence O'Shaughnessy. The uh, commander of the U.S. Northern Command, he said the member of, uh, so, so he said the number of troops could rise depending on the demands placed on the U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents manning the border. Okay, I'm not going to go through the whole article because there's a lot to cover in these videos, or in this video in particular. So, yeah, they're going to send off these 5,200 troops. Um, they are going to be a logistics thing. Um, so we'll be spot identified groups to, to help rapidly deploy. He said the operation will include engineers to build temporary barriers, lay out uh, consina cons 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 wire, I'm mispronouncing that, uh, at the ports of entry and construct temporary housing for U.S. personnel. Uh, he said about 800 troops are already en route to Texas from Fort Campbell and Fort Knox and more following this week headed towards the Arizona and California. So it's mostly logistics. They're going to go through, they're going to build up these defences and whatnot. Um, and apparently Trump has gone through and said he's going to put these migrants who turn up in tents. So they get to go camping. Yay! Um, probably better than what they had back at their hometown, but still, send them home. But anyway. Apart from that, armed migrants in caravan open fire on Mexican cops, say authorities. Ooh, interesting. I, I thought they were peaceful, but anyway. Mexican authorities arrested two Hondurans who allegedly shot at federal police officers escorting the migrant caravan across the southern state of Chiapasas. Might be mispronouncing. The attack follows shortly after government warnings about Molotov cocktails uh, attacks around the second caravan near the border with Guatemala. The attack took place near something or rather, Chiapasas? where members of the Mexican Federal Police were escorting the migrant caravan as a part of Operation Carinta, I'm hoping it's pronouncing, or Operation Walker, across the southern border state. According to the Mexican's Interior Secretary, two men identified only as 22-year-old Jensen and 17-year-old Carlos spotted the group of police officers guarding the caravan and began firing at them. Please! That, 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 that these are the people the Democrat want to let in your country. People with guns and open fire. Wow. Can, yeah. 
Uh, the attackers' pistols jammed, allowing the police officers to arrest them without any injuries. Federal authorities seized a .380 caliber Glock with nine rounds still in the magazine. Charming. Moving along. Uh, Central American migrants set fire to Mexican immigration facility. More people to let in, I suppose. Hey, don't, don't worry, they're peaceful, right, Democrats? A group of Central American migrants facing, door, uh, facing deportation set fire to a Mexican immigration facility in an apparent attempt to escape. The alleged arson comes at a time when Mexican authorities report the use of firearms and monolith cocktails within the migrant caravans as they make their way through the Mexico to the United States. Charming. So there's that. Uh, Mexico, uh, so Mexican state reportedly providing ca charter buses to drive migrant caravans closer to the US border. So obviously one of the lovely narratives the mainstream media is pushing is that these people are walking there don't worry, they won't be here for a few months. And so you start seeing footage of them on flatbed trucks and being chartered with buses. And then you realise, oh shit, they're actually going to be here sooner. But anyway, moving along. The migrant caravan originated from Central America reportedly has a new method of reaching the US border with Mexico. Professional charter buses. Who is paying for this? I really wonder. Do we have to ask? Fox News reporter... Uh, Griffin Jenkins reported Tuesday from Mexico that thousands strong migrant caravan is now being chartered to the US border by tour buses. Jenkins showed multiple professional buses lined up in a bordering mo migrants to take them onto their next destination on the path to American border. Something new that's developing here, Jenkins said as he wa uh, warned the bus loading uh, sorry, wanted the bus loading zone. We've seen 5,000 strong caravan walking towards the border, but now they're waiting for a ride to the border. This is the first time I've seen an organized bus operation from the state of Axalia, Axalia, I might be mispronouncing, originally getting volunteer buses, but put uh, buses to put people on them and then take them to their next location. Getney Images has previously shown a migrant caravan traveling by raft and floodbird truck. There's the truck there. Jenkins said that this is a reversal from the previous Mexican policy of attempting to destroy the caravan from reaching the US border. Jenkins said that more buses were coming to pick up the migrants, but could not be determined whether the buses were coming from or who were paying for them. President Donald Trump has sent more than 5,200 troops to the border. We know who's paying for them. His name consists of, or starts of a G and ends in, and has a S in it. Look, obviously, look, obviously, we don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, obviously, this is going to be. I, I imagine you follow the money. It's going to be a George Soros operation. It's going to be one of these open societies that's pushing this. Obviously, um, no big shock there. Um, for Chan, if you want to get onto that, let us know. Uh, an embassy, sorry, MSNBC reporter shocked to find the Latino tw uh, Texans hate migrant caravans and are voting Republicans. Uh, who would have thought, you know? But anyway, MSNBC reporter Marina Altaco, I might be mispronouncing, travelled to Houston to interview voters in a hotly, hotly contested congressional district. Ontario reported Tuesday from the 7th district of Texas with the, uh, where the GP, uh, GPO incumbent John Cumbrans is facing a big challenge from Democratic opponent Liz Fetcher. Otanio noted that the Hispanics make up 30% of the population of the district and have a major sway on who is elected here. However, in the interviews with Lat uh, Latino voters, Antonio, Antonio, I'm mispronouncing that name, was stunned to find that they were voting Republican and had a bad opinion of the migrant caravan heading to the U.S. border. Yes, the, not everybody likes migrants. Shock horror. As you mentioned, the demographic, uh, Democrats he, demographics here are changing. Latinos now make up 30% of this district, Otanio said. Texas Latinos, if they turn out, they might not all necessarily turn out blue. 
Attenio then conducted interviews with Texas Latino voters who said they were voting Republican because of the caravan. I do believe that if somebody wants to live in the United States, they should go through the official process. So, uh, so as a result, I tend to ally myself with the people who agree with that, the Texas Latino voter said. Quote, when you see images like the, car the migrant caravan and President Trump talking about the caravans, does that motivate you to want to vote in a certain way? Ontario asked. The voter responded, yes, it makes me want to vote Republican. I think if you want to live in the country, you need to abide its laws. That blows my mind, the MSNBC host said after this segment. Yeah. It's what you call... Look, obviously, look, these guys are the elites. These and mainstream media and all that, they're, they're all elites. And at the end of the day, you know, they, they don't know... They have no idea what the demographics are. They have no idea what the average person wants. This whole open borders thing is a lot of crap. It really is. No one wants it. But anyway. Uh, last video for the day. Or last video about this topic about this. A caravan migrant admits to previously being deported from the US for attempted murder. Let's let this one back in. <laughs> A previously deported illegal alien who was convicted of attempting murder in the United States is just one of the least 7,000 migrants traveling to the U.S. in a caravan. Now, this story is a couple of days old, so it's dropped back since then, but yeah. Uh, in a candid interview with Fox News, a migrant with the caravan identified as Jos uh, Josie admitted that he has already been deported from the U.S. for being a convicted of felony attempted murder. He says he wants to apply for a pardon from the felony he committed, a volunteer translator said. When asked to explain the details of the previously de deported illegal alien's criminal conviction, the translator said a third degree felony attempt of murder. Whew. Is that someone you want to let back in your country? Really need to ask that, do I? Alright, so look at the end of the day. Um, I'll put a link to all these videos so you can obviously go through. Um, but these are the major headlines regarding them. Um, look at the end of the day. What's my takeaway from all this? Um, look, to be honest, send them back. To, do I need to say this? Does, is anybody surprised? Look, at the end of the day, the, these migrants, uh, they're illegal. You're, you're illegally crossing into a country. Do it legally. There is a process. Follow it. If you don't respect the law when it comes to crossing the border and, and entering a country, what makes you think you're going to respect the laws when it comes to speeding or, or in this case, murder? So yeah, no, not surprised. And I'm not surprised that there seems to be a bunch of criminals in this caravan. We have one guy who reportedly has attempted murder or been charged with attempted murder. Uh, we have a, so someone's funding the buses. We have people setting fire to the Mexican immigration facility. We have people with guns opening fire at authorities. And we have rumors about Molotov cocktails. So, no, I am not surprised about this. I, and I'm, yeah, I, I'm really not shocked that this is the type of people that are coming into America. Look, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. What's your view on this migrant caravan? Do you think we should send them back? Do you think we should keep them? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.